What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to talk about AMC. Once again, that's AMC Entertainment Holdings with the ticker symbol AMC. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I provided in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get going. So guys, today AMC Entertainment actually closed at the price of $15.85. It's up 2.26% during the day and it is still up 0.25% in the after hours. So we have a good, good story today, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I personally think that MOAS is coming and the short squeeze is about to begin. Okay. The U.S. Department of Justice unsealed an indictment against Arkegos Capital Management founder Bill Wong and CFO Patrick Halligan for securities fraud, wire fraud, and racketeering Wednesday following the 2021 collapse of the fund after it amassed highly levered positions in handful of U.S. stocks. But then uh, Huang pleads not guilty to be released on a $100 million bond. So guys, he's using a lot of money just to be able to release temporarily. It says here, Arkegos Capital Management founder Bill Huang pleaded not guilty and other charges from the collapse of his family office and will be freed on a $100 million bail. Okay. Uh, in his first appearance since being arrested at 6 a.m. Wednesday, so that's this early morning, Huang agreed to fork over $5 million in cash and pledged two properties including his personal home to secure his bond. Wearing a green polo shirt and tan pants, Huang and his co-defendant, Chief Financial Officer Patrick Halligan agreed not to travel outside the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area. Halligan also pleaded not guilty and will be freed on a $1 million bail. Both men will be released Wednesday. They are due back to court in May 19. So as you can see, there's a lot of people involved in this case. There's one more uh, person that says Acolyte Tao Lee is a mystery fund manager in Arkego's case. As Bill Wang's Arkegos Capital Management piled up a key stock bet to teetering heights, he coordinated trades with an old acolyte atop another hedge fund, another according to a U.S. prosecutors. Sometimes Huang allegedly enlisted his help to sidestep bank policies threatening to end the buying spree. The mystery fund manager identified only as Advisor 1 in Huang's indictment unsealed Wednesday is Tao Li, the head of Tengui Partners, a New York-based hedge fund that oversaw $4 billion as of last year. According to people with knowledge of investigation, Li and Tang Yui haven't been accused of wrongdoing by U.S. authorities. But keep in mind guys, they are still under investigation. Tang Yui didn't respond to messages seeking commitment. Huang arrest was arrested Wednesday on charges of fraud from allegedly manipulating the markets and deceiving banks that lost billions of dollars. Lawrence Lasberg, an attorney for Wang, said his client is entirely innocent. Part of the indictment casts fresh light on the market drama that unfolded in early months of last year. Shares of GSX Techit Techidu Incorporated rocketed even as it was under attack by short sellers accusing the company of malfeasance. According to prosecutors, Lee played a role as Wang sought to extend his behind the scenes buying GSX that had driven up the price. So basically guys, they have so much money, they could drive the price of a certain stock to very high prices, then they would shorten it. That way, they will have gains both ways. But here's where the problem goes. Wang faced was that the banks handling his trades were reaching the limit of how many trades they were willing to buy and hold in certain companies. To maximize his market influence, Huang would hold coordinate certain trades with a close friend and former colleague which is named as Advisor 1, who founded a certain hedge fund which is named as Fund 1 and controlled Fund 1 during the rele relevant time period, according to uh, Huang's charging document, but Huang knew Fund 1 also had held positions of the same companies he wanted to bet on. When Huang confronted a cop, of the amount of GSX exposure that one counterparty bank would hold across all its customers. He allegedly had Advisor 1 move his GSX position to another bank, freeing up capacity for Huang to increase his own bet according to his indictment. So th this is a very very long story guys. So this is one of the uh, 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 developing story that uh, uh, DOJ is uh, working on. Like uh, uh, yeah, everybody knows that uh, DOJ is working on uh, investigating hedge funds because of uh, them manipulating stocks, and uh, this is not something that uh, 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 even them they they can't stop the MOAS. The MOAS is uh, something that will definitely go through whatever happens. They might control it. They might not control it. Okay, but uh, it is in inevitable. 
So now we know that um, Melvin Capital actually closed their uh, hedge fund. And of course, there's a lot of uh, institutions loading up their AMC shares. If you want to know that, you can just go to Pintel.io. You can clearly see here, guys, that some of them are trying to close out their positions. Some are trying to increase their positions. So the white is an indicator that these hedge funds have increased their positions while the green ones the highlighted ones are the ones that increase their amc position so it doesn't stop there um if you got not if you have uh, something to do just uh, focus your energy on something else ladies and gentlemen the like i said before the uh moas is inevitable it will definitely go through all we have to do is to wait and hold on to your shares so it's not something that i'd like to see uh you know hedge funds closing down covering their position and uh, they will lose a lot of money you know uh, personally speaking guys what i'd like to see is uh change change in the stock market right uh, they, they need to impose a lot of rules once again because uh, these rules are needed in the future of future I mean in the future for future investors okay so that's uh, what we're trying to focus on now so there's a lot of crooked people as you can see one of them is uh, Bill Huang so um, I hope they would all go, all go to jail and and uh, they would impose new rules stuff like that okay as you guys can see we have a volume today of 26.52 million our average volume is 52.51 million we are up today at 2 0.26% which is roughly $15.85 and the after hours guys we are still up at around 0.19% so here is the uh, green candle we will try to uh, break that down ladies and gentlemen as, uh, as uh, let me just inform you that I don't normally use a lot of technical terms in my uh, charting because uh, there's not a lot of people that actually uh, knows what it is so I'll just ma make sure I focus on the resistance and the support for the stock right if we have a, a very good uh, if we have a very good uh, technical pattern bullish pattern that we might be able to see whenever we do the charting okay so your uh, stochastics is 6.29 meaning we're over oversold in that specific indicator but in your rsi we have 40.32 so we're not oversold in your rsi but in your stochastics we are oversold meaning that we have a lot of room to the upside okay and uh, if you take a look at here we have this uh, green candle we'll try to break that down in a four hour time frame so uh, we have two green candles in the four hour time frame ladies and gentlemen so the uh current resistance that we have is only here in the 9 ema so if we break that down okay let's try to go ahead and plot your resistance your next resistance will be around here 16 dollars and 77 cents okay and you have another resistance at around 18.75 and we have a huge support in this area around 15 dollars and 42 cents so we'll try to break those uh this last candle down in a one hour time frame in a one hour time frame ladies and gentlemen you can clearly see here that we we are right above your bwap which is very very good news meaning we have we do have a potential to move up words okay so hopefully guys i uh I'm, i've given you a good insight with uh, uh whatever is happening today with uh, the amc stock and as far as you know the movement is concerned i'm still very very positive that uh, a lot of things will happen and this just that one good single step in the right direction okay if you like information and analysis that i provided you in this video please hit the like and subscribe button once again this is your fellow ape don't leave your trades. I love you all. Peace out.